We're seeing some of this rain move out, which is which is kind of what we need, which is great. We needed yep. the rain. We needed to leave. Exactly. Now we can say, okay, we got you, rain. <laughs> you, can, you can go now. And it's actually given some rain to other parts of the state that need it as well. It's going to be a quicker moving storm from this point forward. Yesterday, it stalled out, especially square at the North Bay, right through the Golden Gate. And that's why we've been breaking rainfall records for one-day totals across much of especially the North Bay, but also the rest of the Bay Area. As the atmospheric river scoots further southward, you can see where the heaviest of rainfall has shifted down to the central coast, into the central valley, on up into the Sierra foothills and the Sierra Nevada itself getting some snowfall. Our activity breaking apart a bit here in the core of the Bay Area. San Francisco Bay Bridge dry right now. It is wet at the surface, but no new rainfall is falling. It's just obviously now we're dealing with all the ponding of water on roads. You're also seeing some wet spots from East Palo Alto on over the Dumbarton Bridge to Fremont, starting to dry out from Sunnyvale through Santa Clara on over to San Jose and up to Milpitas. A little bit further to the north, pockets of rainfall still remaining along 580 between Hayward and the Tri-Valley. Concord, you are in the midst of that heavier area of rainfall. I checked with you just a few minutes ago. That was sitting just to the west of Concord. Now it's going to skirt its way up along Highway 4. Benicia, you're starting to see it dying down now as that area of rainfall moves out into the delta just into eastern Solano County. Pockets of heavy rain still exist from Vallejo through Fairfield on up to Vacaville. Much quieter from Santa Rosa on up through Cloverdale. Very windy conditions this morning. Winds gusting as high as 20 miles per hour at times. Not near as windy as yesterday's gale force winds were. A little calmer this afternoon too. So you can see how we're at the tail end of things here. Moisture continuing to push out of the region. By 8.15 a.m., you're starting to get a little hints of sunshine out there between the clouds. Heavy rain will remain in the Sierra foothills. Heavy snow in the Sierra Nevada well into the afternoon today. Pockets of heavier rain and maybe even a roll of thunder or two come the early afternoon. Into the evening tonight, we dry back out. Now, tomorrow we start dry. We'll see a resurgence of cloud cover later in the day and a chance of a scattered shower late afternoon into early evening. Aside from that though this is actually quite the dry forecast ahead of us rainfall amounts from this point forward around a tenth to a quarter of an inch at our most compared to the inches upon inches of rainfall that we just finished up with 60s for your daytime highs across the bay and as for temperatures the next seven days it'll be 60s to 70s and a dry finish to october today and tomorrow lingering showers this morning couple of scattered afternoon showers tomorrow possible wednesday thursday friday looking dry highs climbing back into the low 70s Raina. Don, thank you.